I give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Mr. President, we're grateful to Mankar and Jai and they, Adoyi uh, Bankole and all of Skrug for their statements. We, we also listen with great interest to Pamela Durum. We welcome the participation of the President of the Central African Republic, uh, Fosten Arkhanj Twadere, in this meeting. His uh, thoughts are particularly important in considering the situation in his country by the Security Council. We are carefully following the developments in the Central African Republic. We're convinced that the political agreement on peace and reconciliation in the car on, uh, the six of, from the 6th of February of 2019 is a basis for achieving a, a stable peace and security in the country. We note the efforts of the authorities, in particular the new government, which includes uh, participants from uh, the armed group's signatories to the political agreement. Uh, we we'll welcome its efforts in implementing the Republican dialogue initiated by President Touadera. What's important is that the authorities uh, are uh, intent on ensuring the principle of inclusiveness uh, and also implementing the roadmap uh, in dialogue that uh, envisions a possibility of uh, uh, illegal armed groups that uh, exited the Hartum agreement uh, uh, joining the process. We welcome uh, the ceasefire announced by President Touadera on the 15th of October in this connection. Uh, we're seeing that the number of civil servants is being increased in the regions. The, the number of judiciary bodies is also increasing, and the number of police officers deployed around the country is increasing. Work has begun on preparing municipal uh, elections that are planned for September of 2022. We support all these efforts that are aimed at normalizing the situation in the country. This has been made possible thanks to the fact that the, uh, uh, the FACA were able to repulse the insurgent forces and to limit their possibilities of mounting offensive operations and continuing armed struggle and in general have stabilized the situation. At the same time, the alliance of the illegal armed groups called Coalition for Patriots for Change has not desisted from its plans to seize power by force. Bearing that in mind, we think that it's important to contribute in every way to strengthening the uh, legit legitimately elected authorities of the car. It's clear that a comprehensive and coordinated support to, to the authorities of the car by the international community must be continued. We welcome the active participation of the International Conference of the Gl Great Lakes Region and the Economic Community of Central African States and also uh, uh, the efforts of the UN and other foreign partners of Bangui uh, to stabilize the situation in the country. In this connection, we, uh, uh, we commend the, the outcome of the third mini-summit of uh, uh, states, member states of the ICGLR, uh, which took place on the 16th of September in Luanda. During that meeting, uh, next steps were charted on implementing the roadmap proposed by the Angolan side uh, in ensuring peace in the car. It's important that any mediation efforts by sub-regional organizations uh, be implemented with the consent and participation of the government of the Central African Republic. We believe that without uh, providing effective support to the government of the country and enhancing the combat effectiveness of its national armed forces. Without that, it will uh, take a long time to overcome the internal crisis. We're convinced that uh, the a strong army and strong law enforcement uh, bodies are essential to ensure a long-term solution to the situation in the car. Mr. President, we believe that MINUSCA must be an important element in ensuring security in the country bearing in mind the functions uh, that have been entrusted to the peacekeepers, including in, in uh, uh, countering uh, illegal armed groups and in protecting the civilian population. We are in favor of a closer coordination between MINUSCA, Bangui, and bilateral partners on the ground. We are convinced that a fully-fledged uh, implementation of the mandate of the peacekeeping peacekeeping mission can only, is only possible by maintaining the trust between the authorities with the authorities of the host country. We also believe that in choosing troop and police contingents that were that should be sent to strengthen MINUSCA in, 
in accordance with Resolution 2566. In doing this, the Secretariat must coordinate closely with Bangui and take into account the uh, uh, views of the Central African authorities, including regarding the national uh, composition of the contingents of troops and police uh, sent to the country. At the same time, we need to bear in mind the fact that peacekeeping mission should not and must not substitute for the efforts of national authorities. It is the national authorities that bear the main responsibility for the fate of their own country and for protecting their population. In this connection, it's essential to continue strengthening the capacity of the car. And the arms embargo uh, is a clear obstacle to that goal. Once again, we draw attention, colleagues in the Security Council, to the fact that we must heed the calls of the CAR and regional partners on lifting restrictions uh, on Bangui. Mr. President, at the request of the authorities of the CAR and uh, with the knowledge of the 2127 Committee, uh, Russian instructors are operating in the country. They have successfully enhanced the level of uh, uh, professional training of the Central African Security Forces. Thanks to this, this, the military situation in the country has been stabilized. Once again, we will repeat, Russian instructors are not taking part in uh, uh, fighting any possible cases of violations of international humanitarian law or human rights must be investigated by the national authorities. We have very close dialogue with the national authorities based on mutual respect. If we receive any information through the law enforcement bodies of CAR on specific incidents, we will closely examine it. As for accusations by our colleagues in the Security Council. We would like to once again recall that they should focus their attention on the blatant cases of human rights violation and international humanitarian law committed by their own military militaries and private companies. They should also analyze the outcome of their uh, their long-standing military participation and involvement in military campaigns in Africa, Afghanistan, Iraq, and other parts of the world. We'd like to repeat that the CAR is not a platform for confrontation. It is rather a unique opportunity for us to join our efforts and to help a country that finds itself in very difficult circumstances. Russia will continue to be ready to, to cooperate with all constructively minded forces. We are convinced that we have every opportunity to uh, establish this kind of cooperation without any kind of div lines of division and taking into account our, a balance of interests. Fighting extremists and stabilizing the situation in CAR and, and in other countries is our common goal. We are strongly convinced that in today's world there is no place for neo-colonial practices. There is no place for economic blackmail or pitting uh, neighbors against each other. Also, there is no place for attempts to dictate to sovereign states who they should cooperate with, including uh, militarily, and who they shouldn't. This kind of um, this kind of tone, uh, mentor tone, is is acceptable to to fewer and fewer states. Thank you very much. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation for her statement.